Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 21st, 2023. Well, my goodness, we had quite an afternoon yesterday with a big sell off that came all of a sudden, as I've been kind of warning to be careful that we've stretched so hard that if we start to sell everyone would start taking profits very very quickly seem to have been the case yesterday what happened overnight well if we take a look um, we had a few things happen um, that um, a follow through of the selling yesterday in um, the US markets. Asian markets were mostly down last night closing mostly down Hong Kong and Shanghai recovered just slightly before the close, recovering some of those losses, uh, with Hong Kong up 0.04% and Shanghai up 0.57%. Then if we take a look, Europe, Europe this morning is down across the board um, in reaction to the U.S. sell-off, uh, pulling back a little bit. But here in the U.S., we're, we've are got the pre-market pump back underway. We're pushing back up here with uh, futures um, showing bullishness across the board this morning. Let's take a look in the oil sector. Um, oil bouncing around here just a little bit, but oil this morning right now is down ever so slightly with natural gas up ever so slightly and then on the bond yields uh, what was interesting yesterday as we were selling off bond yields were staying low as a matter of fact uh, we closed yesterday with a 30-year bond below four percent so we still have the um, overall market feeling or um, anticipating a rate cut soon from the Fed continuing to drive those bonds lower. So what does all this mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I do truly pr appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts try to shake off a little bit of bias and let's see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today well first off um, obviously pretty bearish candle showed up there all of a sudden pushing back down and we did end up breaking that little bit of area of support but you can see this morning we're trying to gap back up and recover a good portion of that i suppose it's really going to be what the data shows today how we're going to perform to um and how we're going to progress on through here you will want to keep in mind that if the bulls find inspiration here today well we've got just a little teeny tiny price resistance right in there and then of course these highs that we could try and push on through to the upside here in the diamonds remember past that we've got blue sky above in the diamonds now if the bears were to take some of the data today and find something to be inspired by then maybe a push back down we could test this low first and then see if we're going to test this support area of that all-time high breakout here in the diamonds possibly from that point we could push on through down into uh, this level and that was uh, like the uh, all-time high close in the Dow uh, pushing through that of course would put us down here and I'm not suggesting we're going to make that kind of a move today but we will want to start watching for the possibility that we could extend these pullbacks at any time uh, from this overextended condition so watch that carefully and as I said you know um, we we have that we're, we're kind of that all or nothing market either we're racing racing in chasing anything that's moving or or running for the door in fear like we did yesterday and so just be careful if that fear continues to show up today we could have a pretty substantial move yet to the downside i'm not saying that's going to happen but make sure you've got your stops in place don't blindly chase uh, the market uh, 
were very, very extended here still in these markets when you look at the parabolic nature of the diamonds there. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Also had a rough day yesterday. Um, can't call it a bearish engulfing candle, but it certainly is uh, quite bearish um, on the look. Um, we were not able to hold this breakout here, pushing back down. So I'm going to leave that red, pushing back through. But the good news is we held on to this little doji spinning candle here. We didn't quite break down through there on the day. If the bulls can, you can see we're trying to get gap up here this morning. If the bulls can continue to find that inspiration, let's see if we can first break back through this resistance right here in the chart. If we can break back up through that area, then I would look for a retest of these highs up here. See if we can push on through and then maybe catch that all time high print in the SPY. If we take a look, um, if the bears were to find inspiration, then look right across right there. Um, that's where we'll be watching if the bears come in. If we break that low of yesterday, that could really bring a little bit of fear to the market. And I would suggest the next place is probably down here below that big candle. And um, back here testing um, the trend and possibly even going as low as this support area here in the chart. So watch carefully for that if those bears do engage. And once again, there would be reason for that because of this very big extension that we've seen in the market. Yet at the same time, that desire to maybe push on higher um, heading into uh, the end of the week may be there. Albeit, we want to be watching pretty carefully. Notice we, we've been moving down in volume here. Volume has been declining until that sell day came in and that, that spiked back up there in volume with that selling. So watch that carefully. If the bears were to engage, we could see um, that fall begin on higher volume just simply because everyone is looking for a way out and protecting their capital. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ, pretty rough day yesterday, trying to push higher. Big selling came in all at once, uh, pushing back down through some of these support levels. If the bulls can continue to find inspiration in the data today, then let's watch for that possibility. Again, we're gapping up here this morning, trying to ignore what happened yesterday um, and push up through and see whether or not we can break back through that resistance in the chart. If we can, then we start looking for these next levels up here. Then looking um, on the bearish side, you can see a follow through of this candle today. There's not much support in here, as you can see. It's just, it's all stretched to the upside. And that's where the real danger comes into the market. If that really were to pick up and we break this low, then, um, well, kind of your guess is as good as mine. We could move down fairly sharply here. Um, uh, maybe down in here, we've got a couple of bottoms coming together, maybe down in here, maybe uh, filling that little gap right there in the QQQ might be where we would first seek out. Uh, past that point, we may be coming back down into this area of the chart. You will want to also keep in mind that there's no moving average support under these levels um, until we move sharply lower because we are so extended in the short term. So we're not going to get a whole lot of help if the bears do pick up on that short term side. And then if we look at IWM um, or downside, I should say, um, if uh, you want to see a, a chart that reacted just perfectly to that resistance in the chart. We were pressing up here and lingering and lingering and lingering, trying to break through that resistance. And then that complete reversal came back down to test that trend as support. This morning, we're bouncing up off of there significantly. Again, just trying to say, nah, yesterday was nothing. And we believe we're going to push on higher. And that very, very, way, very well may be true. One thing it does does give you a demonstration of, of just how big a point moves these can be all of a sudden. So if those bulls can continue to find that inspiration here this morning and we can break back through uh, this little resistance area right in here, then look for a retest of 
that resistance high and then beyond that point you can see we're looking up there substantially for those next resistance levels in the chart if the bears happen to find that inspiration here today drop back down into here well you can see one of the risks that we've got here if we break this low and this support you'll want to watch that closely because we could quickly fall into this gap and move pretty sharply lower here in um, IWM now keeping in mind this would uh, not break that upside trend right here if we did find that support albeit this is a very very steep trend and we could end up if the bears really engage coming on back to this longer term trend let's take a look at our vix our vix had a rough day yesterday as well all of a sudden spiking up so for the first time in quite a while we got that little shakiness that came into the market we broke this downtrend um, that you can see here pushing back up just that acknowledgement that we may be a little bit overextended the last few days we've been rallying um, in the vix even as the market was continuing to stretch to the upside on lower volume so watch that carefully in in here um, remember it doesn't matter if we break that downtrend so much what's going to matter is if we hold that downtrend or hold a higher low in here and begin that upside trend on the VIX so watch carefully for that certainly today if the bulls can find that bullish inspiration maybe we recover this all the way we just push this right back down into this area suggesting that we don't care no fear we want to continue to be buying and then if we take a look at our T2122, well, our T2122 lingered and lingered and lingered up here in that bullish, uh, or excuse me, bearish reversal zone in the chart um, most of the day. And then all of a sudden, and, and, and you know, the interesting thing was, is as much as I looked, there really was no catalyst in news that created that selling. But boy, we came in pretty quick and hard now one of the things you want to pay attention to is with that biggest selling just realizing how much further we could go to the downside if the bears were to continue to engage with the bulls engaging this morning i'm going to expect this to be popping back up here in the pre-market and if that data continues to help us um, show that bullishness then we might be right back up here really quick in another whipsaw of the market remember when we get really whippy up the at the top it can be very dangerous up here for the big point moves so make sure you're planning your trades carefully then if we take a look at our t2108 our t2108 did have a pullback here yesterday but nothing serious we've been reaching these topping pattern um, areas here in t2108 it's it's not as if these indicators have not been warning that a pullback could begin at any time as i've been suggesting so watch that carefully um, but the good news is we've got plenty of support levels in here that we could potentially hold even if we do pull back but that might raise a little concern um, in the market and raise a little bit of fear so watch carefully here if we take the shine off of this rally and actually do start pulling back watch some of those price levels but right now not enough selling yesterday in t2108 to raise any major alarm bells just a little bit of shake up here um, on that um, um, exuberant rally to the upside our uh, t2107 uh, the same pulling back just a little bit on the day maybe a little bit stronger in that move notice that we're rejecting this resistance area at the moment in the chart again we're up here in that frothy area of t2107 but it doesn't mean we still can't go higher in this one up in there toward that 65 70% region if we can find enough uh, bullishness now keeping in mind uh, continuing to sell we've got good support levels here in that chart as well so no reason to really panic but that might create some fear in the market if we start coming down and testing some of those areas and then if we look at our t21 one um, you'll see in here that yesterday we did have that breadth that bullish breadth 
kind of pulled back here yesterday. Um, now, if we see that reverse back up, what we want to see is that breadth on the bullish side turning back to the upside. We don't want to see that breadth continuing to decline on that on the bullish move that we're seeing this morning. Continued decline in here could um, um, embolden those bears to press um, press here. So watch that carefully, and then we could actually see breadth increase on the sell wave here in the market. Remember, T2101 doesn't tell us which direction the market's going to go. In fact, T2101 reacts to the bullish or bearish momentum or breadth in the market. Where's the push happening here? So we can move up in this indicator if the bears are pushing. We can move up in this indicator if the bulls are pushing. It's all about how much breadth is coming in and that momentum um, in the market. So yesterday we lost some of that upside momentum here in T2101. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, well, we've got a busy one here first thing this morning with some big data points. Of course, the GDP will be coming out here this morning. And boy, they're really kind of punting here on, on this one, in my opinion. Um, just trying to regurgitate last numbers and saying, well, we're not sure, so let's just post last uh, last time's numbers. Watch this closely. Um, I have no idea how the market might react to this. Um, if, if this continues to get hotter, that's probably going to be a little bit of a problem for the market. But we could also see the market be a little bit um, concerned if we see this starting to fall. Remember, recession is too quarters of declining GDP. Now, this is just a short-term monthly reading. It doesn't necessarily mean a quarter, but we'll want to be watching that closely if we start to see that GDP start to fade here. If we take a look at our uh, jobless claims here today, this is another one of those problematic places in the market where it has remained a little bit hot. We'll want to watch this carefully. Um, consensus is su suggesting we come up in our jobless claims a little bit. We've been struggling to um, get those jobless claims coming in. I, I will I will say that we had quite a few companies last week announcing layoffs. I'm not sure that that's going to play into this number um, this time, but one of these days I expect we get a surprise increase in jobless claims and that of course might worry the market. So watch that carefully. And then we've got a Philly Fed, um, something that we have just absolutely ignored this entire um, uh, time of the market that our manufacturing is in a terrible state. But we are looking for an improvement. We're looking for a negative 0.3 in the consensus, um, getting better from a negative 5.9. We don't seem to care uh, that our manufacturing is struggling so much in the United States. We've ignored it and ignored it and, and ignored it. And then if we take a look, corporate profits, leading indicators, natural gas reports, we're going to get some bond auctions here today and the Fed balance sheet. Now, just a reminder, tomorrow um, there will be no morning market prep video. Um, we'll be taking Friday off. Um, you want to remember that today we could start seeing volumes decline pretty quickly after these data points. Folks, you know, planning on um, holiday time with their family. So watch that carefully. And it, it could become very extreme in the afternoon on Friday. If you um, are going to be around, just remember that tomorrow we have three pretty substantial reports that can move the market. Um, strongly. So we've got a durable goods report, personal incomes and outlays, new home sales will be there, and then of course consumer sentiment. So you'll want to watch that close um, as we move through. And we do have an early close here, so you'll want to uh, kind of keep that in mind heading into Friday. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar here for today. And we do have some notables for today to be paying attention to. Um, company Air will be reporting. That's been in a very bullish upside trend. Watch that. Um, APOG will be reporting today. Um, building materials. And this has been hot, hot, hot to the upside. Straight up parabolic move. 
um, in APOG. So watch that one. That could be a very important report, particularly after that uh, kind of nasty reversal up here yesterday. And then um, AVO. Keep an eye on AVO here today. Been chopping in a sideways move. Um, we've got CCL. Carnival Cruise has also been in a very strong upside trend, pushing up towards some resistance levels here in the chart. And yesterday's bearish engulfing coming in uh, might raise just a little bit of concern or pause heading into that earnings report. We're going to hear from Cintas. Cintas will be reporting. Uh, they have been backing away from this top for a while, coming into some price support, heading into their earnings today. We've got Nike, which has been incredibly strong, just ripping to the upside. We're testing some resistance levels here in the chart. Could be critical here on this earnings report. Will we pop through that area? or will we um, see this pulling back after earnings? Watch that one carefully. And PAYX, PAYX also just very parabolic in this move to the upside, pushing into some substantial resistance areas in the chart. Could be critical um, earnings report to find out whether we're gonna pop through or fail. And then just noting, big old shooting star pattern came in there yesterday on that reversal of the day, but trend is still strong. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you find these videos to be useful or helpful, please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button. Leave that brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And thank you so much. Who for those of you that that do that and you know just leaving that emoji helps out as well let's take a look at some of these stocks and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you need to do your own due diligence be very careful and still be reminded that we are in a very extended condition in this market so make sure that you've got your stops in place that you've been raising those stops you've been protecting your profit and be careful getting involved with the chase this this big candle here may be just the warning shot over the bow saying hey wake up everyone we're a little bit extended um, so watch that closely um, never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Well, first off, we've had a lot of change here yesterday, but one thing that didn't change much was um, the uh, L, uh, TLT. TLT continuing to stay very strong as those bond yields continue to pull back. Now, we're coming into a significant area of resistance here in the chart. I want to watch that pretty closely because I do think there is that possibility, um, pretty substantial possibility of a pullback or a consolidation but this has been a really nice money maker in this run so watch this carefully here in TLT um, we also want to keep a close eye on what's been happening here in the dollar um, dollar just or at least the UUP just sank like a rock here and we're trying to push back up um, all of a sudden, um, seeing a little bit of buying coming in here, trying to push this back up. But big change here in um, the UUP here um, as as we, so, well, just trying to sort out what's happening around the world and all these different currency moves. So watch that carefully. Um, as you guys know, I was mentioning Medtronic in here. Medtronic had a really rough day yesterday pushing down and you're going to see this as a theme in a lot of stocks that were looking really really good suddenly have that warning out here of that bit of a pullback that could be coming so watch that carefully now we're going to find some that um, pulled back but still holding support levels uh, mickey d is still looking very very good in here little pop and drop that we came in here pushed up pulled back but we're holding in here on this price support and notice we've got several days in here of that resting pattern so what i would do is i would consider just placing a price alert right above this area waiting to see if that's going to continue to pop on through to the upside on Mickey D's and there's every reason to believe at the moment that
that that's a possibility. We've got some upside resistance that could um, even be broken if we can get enough of that bullish push to the upside. So watch that closely. Um, uh, take a look at uh, that international paper. It also pulled back yesterday but still in a very bullish pattern. As long as we can hold the support in here, I think it's worth keeping an eye on. Um, I still have that alert placed on that chart. And honestly, I'm not interested in the daily so much as I am the weekly. This longer term pattern is really what I'm interested in for a, a bit of a position trade on one of these old boring companies. Take a look at stocks like KHC. Um, we found that top up there and we pulled back hard and yesterday we ended up losing some support in here. So one of the things we're going to have to start watching for is the possibility of some lower highs in these charts. When we break trends like this and we break support, any rally back we have to be watching for that possibility that we could hit some kind of resistance in here and then roll over in that lower high. So be kind of careful here when we see these bounce back ups. If, if they've broken a support, if they've broken trend, well, we need to be a little bit cautious on those. We can certainly take that run back up if you choose to, but watch carefully if they start to lose some of that energy anywhere near that lower high or double topping area where we could roll back over and it, and it could roll back over pretty darn quickly. Let's take a look at um, some of our commodities that we've been watching. GLD holding in there pretty nicely, not falling um, yesterday with the rest of the market. So keep a close eye on that. If this is the upside trend, just keep in mind this could continue to rest in this range. And then we still have that possibility that GLD could attack and maybe break to some of these all-time highs in gold. And that's something that you wouldn't normally see in a very, very bullish market is gold being so strong here. So watch that carefully. And I would look at some of these stocks in like GDX, uh, some of the, the miners out there still holding up overall bearish engulfing candle yesterday. Um, so that is a concern. We're dealing with this resistance in the chart, but watch that carefully. If we continue to see some fear here in the market, we could see gold continue to perk back up. I'm not going to suggest that I know that this is going to move higher in any way, shape or form, but I do think it's something to be watching. And then when we look at some of these mining stocks, Newmont had a, uh, a bearish engulfing candle come in yesterday, but notice we didn't break any of the support here and we're already trying to pop back up here in that chart. Now this would likely be the upside trend, so we probably need more resting consolidation in there, but uh, trying to make that move. So keep an eye on some of these mining stocks. Uh, they are trying to hold up and look pretty good. Uh, take a look at what happened here yesterday in some of the casinos. Um, I was looking at these um, as that possibility that they may pop and break on through. And oh my goodness, big ugly sell came in yesterday on that. And this morning we're get this, getting this big pop and drop here in the pre-market. So I don't think this is something I would throw out um, but I would watch this carefully and just realize that the market may be entering a phase of some higher volatility with a lot more fluctuation in price, which might make some of these trades uh, a bit more on the risky side. But watch that carefully. If we can hold in here, get right back above that support area and hold, then there would be some more upside here in some of these casino stocks. Take a look at uh, stocks like Chewy. Held up like crazy yesterday, like nothing happened in the market. Um, ended up with a little bit of a spinning top doji up here and um, any rest or consolidation or pullback in here still sets up a nice opportunity in that chart. Take a look at stocks like SQ. It did pull back yesterday, but boy, there's nothing wrong with that chart. Still in a very parabolic move to the upside, in my opinion. Um, but we broke through this resistance. So if we can prove to hold up here, then I would look for that next opportunity in that chart. I would, however, not be all that surprised to see this need more of a 
protracted pullback or um, longer term consolidation before that one gets moving. And, you know, there's a lot of those right now um, doing the same thing. PayPal, um, nice little consolidating move here in the chart and resting sideways. Uh, those bears came in yesterday. But as I suggested, we want to be watching this big downtrend here in the chart. If we can build enough energy and hold in here along this trend, there's every reason to believe that we could pop on through uh, that downtrend. We pop through out and hold, then we've got upside potential potentially coming in uh, PayPal. So watch those carefully. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And more importantly, everyone, I want to say thank you so much for this year. Um, it has been a great year for uh, for Right Way Options. I do truly appreciate it. And I just want to say um, Merry Christmas to everyone out there. I, I hope that um, you do um have a, uh, a great holiday season and find um, find that time to spend with your family because you know making money is great. We love making money, but um, it's not near as important as our family. And y'all are family to me and I do truly appreciate every single one of you and your kindness to this channel and to myself. I very much appreciate it. Y'all take care, be safe, have a wonderful Christmas. And I will see you back here next week. Y'all take care, everyone.